Hello everybody! Today I have a video for you that I was planning to do since long and it is a brand review. So this could be a new category of videos if you would be interested about and I am taking a specific company and I am uh, showing you the products that I own and uh, tell you a few things about them, making a brief review for each of them. I have done similar type of videos for some brands in Greek but I think that um, it's a, a good idea now to do a video about Hourglass. Hourglass it is um, a high-end makeup company and you can find their products mostly in US. It's a US company, you can find them there in Sephora. They also have an online store for US but you can also find Hourglass products in UK. So, to my knowledge, you can find them at Liberty and Space and K. I don't know if you can find them anywhere else. And all the products uh, from Hourglass that I own, they are from Liberty's. And uh, I have gotten them uh, in uh, my London trips in the past and most of them in my summer vacation in London, where I had the, the luck to be um, in an event at Liberty from Hourglass where makeup artists did my makeup and explained me the whole range of products and we choose the stuff that they are more suitable for my skin and um, my skin color and everything and uh, it was actually a very beautiful experience and I am really... Uh, I think that their makeup artists were great, very friendly, really 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 nice and uh, I also got uh, a ton of products so I've been trying these products since long and I decided that it's a good idea to review them for you right now because especially for high-end brands I think that it's really important to uh, watch or read as many reviews as possible before you decide to spend an enormous sometime amount of money for a makeup product and um, I will start I am wearing today my makeup is completely uh, besides mascara everything else is from hourglass and that's because I don't have an hourglass mascara so everything else is from them and uh, you will see that some of the products are missing mostly because I decided that instead of using for example a concealer for another brand I will not use a concealer and I will try to do my makeup just with the hourglass products I have but I couldn't really resist <laughs> and not wear a mascara. I will start with base products and I have here the very infamous primer from uh, Hourglass and this is the Veil Mineral Primer Oil Free Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So it comes in a beautiful, beautiful, the packaging is really amazing and it screams high end. So it comes in this amazing glass pump bottle. I love the packaging. I also have a mini traveling. Um, sample that it came with my ambient light powder palette so this is perfect for traveling I have used this up and when I travel I just put some of this in here so that I can take it with me and this even this of course it doesn't come with a pump but it is like that and you can use it on your face so let's talk about the actual product this is among the top three primers I have ever used, if not the best. I think that if I would say that Hourglass is uh, making amazing makeup products, one of the best products they make it would be this primer. I can understand why it is so popular, why it's got so many amazing reviews. Um, I will have, it's very expensive, I will have the prices and the links from their site down below or from uh, Liberties so that you can see. Liberties are also sending in many many other countries, in Europe especially and if you live in US of course you can find them in Sephora but um, I think that the shipping cost is quite 
high so you have to decide but it's something that if you're traveling UK or if you're traveling US I would definitely recommend to check out the um, counter so this primer is a water-based primer no silicone at all and when you put it on you feel you feel amazing you feel like your skin is transforming it, your makeup lasts much much longer your skin looks much more glowy and radiant and even and it covers a bit of redness even if you don't put makeup on it feels so nice i put this with my hands and i really and i have tried a ton of primers silicone ones non-silicone ones and this primer, in my opinion, doesn't compare with anything. There are people that they compare the professional with it. From Benefit, yeah, it is a really good primer, but that's not compared with it. This is an amazing, amazing primer. It is, though, very, very, very expensive. So I use it when I really want to look my best. So this is like... The primer for when I will go out, when I will want to go to an event and have a, a really nice base for my makeup for the whole day. I'm wearing it today and uh, I quickly did my makeup with these products as I said and I put it on and I remember how much I love applying this uh, primer. So only raves uh, from me for this product. It's an amazing product. And next I have a foundation for them, so I love using foundations, I love trying out new foundations. So this, uh, as I realized, is a kind of a new thing for me. I was not wearing a foundation for many, many, many years, certainly until I was like 26 or something. And then I was very rarely wearing them, but the last few years and blogging and vlogging really had an effect on me. I am wearing a foundation, I feel that I need the coverage and I love trying out new foundations. So Hourglass has um, four different types of foundations if I remember correctly and this is for normal skin and it's called the Veil Fluid Makeup Oil Free Broad Spectrum SPF 15 foundation. It comes in this beautiful bottle again with a pump. They are so nice. I mean, I have them in drawers, but having them on your vanity like that, they look amazing. And both of these uh, contain 30 ml of product, if I remember correctly. You can find the list of ingredients on the webpage of Hourglass. And uh, they are all, um, they not do animal testing. They're vegan friendly. Many of their products don't even contain gluten, like the primer and they are not containing parabens, they are not containing uh, many, many um, ingredients that they are harmful for the skin. They have this 15 SPF that I don't find really uh, protecting for your skin, but also I don't think that uh, it causes any real problem when you are taking flash photography. I never had the problem with this foundation. So I have this one in the shade porcelain most of the times i am um, using the this is the lightest shade i'm using the lightest or second lightest shade for its foundation and uh, when we color matched uh, my skin at the store we decided that for liberty foundation i'm the lightest shade this is something that um, it's difficult to do if you don't soap these products on at the counter and you do that online and I totally understand that but uh, just to give you an idea that although I usually not always use the light shade for hourglass foundations I am a zero so if you are amazingly 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 light maybe even the zero could be a bit darker for you if you are like me or even a bit lighter the zero would be perfect and uh, then it can the range can accommodate a lot of darker skin tones. Um, this makeup is uh, an oil-free makeup, so I tend to be a bit oily, and it's working really well. It is a medium to full coverage foundation, and 
what it is amazing with it, I have not built the coverage at all. So I have used just a bit. I have not put any uh, powder, just I have put finishing powder, I will show you the powders, but not powder to just take the oil and not look oily or something. And although it's kind of a really good coverage foundation, I you need a concealer. I have here some pimples that they were really red and really huge and it cannot cover it completely just with one um, uh, application but I could apply a bit more and I think that would be perfect it has covered a lot of unevenness in my skin and uh, it feels like you're not wearing anything and for me this is the most amazing thing with this foundation that it has a good coverage even if you build it up you will have like you can even achieve a flawless um, result and it will still feel that you're not wearing any foundation and for me this is the very very important thing when I'm choosing a foundation I want my foundation to have medium coverage usually I'm not um, usually achieving full coverage I don't like the result but you can achieve full coverage with that and still feel like you're not wearing anything and it will look very natural although it is creamy and not really fluid as the uh, bottle says and um, you actually need very very tiny amount to achieve medium coverage at least uh, if I would recommend, they have some for oily skin, they have some for uh, more dry skin, if I would recommend you this foundation I it is a very expensive foundation I don't love it as much as the primer, I think that the primer is not compared with anything else that I have tried but this foundation I think there are a lot of foundations like that out there I mostly high-end ones again but I would not tell you oh go and run and buy this one by Hourglass because it's the best foundation ever uh, but I really think that it's it's an amazing high-end foundation and I really love how it looks and how it feels on my skin and um, I as I said I have not used any concealer so you can see my dark circles a bit but if you think how I have really really intense dark circles and I just used this one to cover them and I am quite happy with the result if you think that I'm not wearing a concealer I will continue with another type of product. I will continue with a product that I would never expect myself giving so much money for. So this is the Hourglass Brow product and it's called the Arc Brow Sculpting Pencil. And I have the Sade um, Soft Brunette. I have heard so many things about that. And I have seen so many people praising this product and saying that it is an amazing brow product. And I, I was thinking of um, trying some products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But then I think it was Viviana Does Makeup that really convinced me to try it. I even searched for it because I didn't have it at Liberty. So I went to Space and Kate to find it. They didn't have it in stock. So this is just 3 point... No, this is 0.4 grams. This is the tiniest amount of product that you can see. And that product comes here. You can see. And I love this. And at the other end it has the spoolie. This is a really good color for my eyebrows because I don't really want them to look very dark and it is the quickest and easiest way to do your eyebrows and look nice. I usually do the whole thing. Um, I will put some um, uh, wax and then some powder and then some gel and no. With this thing you don't need anything else and the brows look really really groomed and very very beautiful I like the color I like how it feels on the brow I usually don't enjoy these brow liners this 
has the perfect diameter for my brows. I can do it so quickly and blend it and it will look so beautiful. I will buy this again. It is so expensive. If it finishes, I will not really run to order it online, but when I will be in another hourglass counter in the future, I will definitely uh, buy this product again. I think it is kind of amazing and uh, I think that it deserves to try it if you really want to spend this amount of money on your brows. I am continuing with some eye stuff. So I have here a palette that uh, weirdly enough, although I thought that it was on the main uh, collection and no one told me that it was limited or anything, I could not find it on the site, the online site. So it comes like that. The, I love the packaging, but can you see how dirty it looks even if you clean it? It looks shiny and dirty. So it has, it's a six eyeshadow palette and it comes like that and this is actually the mirror which is actually very cool I will try to not blind you and it comes with one of these tiny brushes that no one likes at least this is not a sponge brush but uh, I don't know why I have it in here and this one is the volume 6 neo classic eyeshadow palette and it comes with these six eyeshadows and Four of them are two grams and two of them are two and two and a half grams each. I will just make some swatches. These are almost completely matte or a bit satin. And uh, I would never expect myself getting a palette like that. Because it's neutral and matte. But it's so beautiful. The color that really sold me is this one. I am wearing this in my eyes, that's why the eye makeup is not really intense today. I will swatch you some more. I really like, look, look how creamy they are. I really like also how the brown looks. I will also swatch you the blue. This is a very dark navy blue and uh, it's not so intense when you blend it in the eye but it gives a really beautiful finish. I love, I love this shades and if you see this pink one, it is amazing. I am wearing, um, can I show you? Here it is. So I'm wearing the blue as an eyeliner, so you can see that it's not a scary, very weird blue and uh, I am only then wearing this too eyeshadows here on the eyelid and a bit in the corner and then I have blended it a bit with this brown one for very soft everyday makeup look I think that this palette is really great if I would recommend you to buy it I wouldn't because it's really expensive and I can find amazing shadows and from a lower end brands and for medium end brands and uh, I mean even if you love the neutrals you, there are the Urban Decay palettes and they are also amazing I just thought that this would be a really good travel palette if you want something neutral because it has a black and it has a bit of a blue for just a spot of color and it has a brown which is an amazing brown this color as I said and then it has two really nice highlighters so I thought it would be a very good palette if I want to travel and I wanted to try the eyeshadows and uh, besides that I think it's a great uh, purchase. I have not regretted it but I wouldn't say go run and buy an hourglass palette because you need it. I have a more disappointing product and uh, on my lips today I am wearing this. It looks fantastic. I know that it looks really nice and uh, everyone, everyone compliments me when I'm wearing this. I love the color. I love everything about it and how it looks 
and it is the hourglass I cannot find the name but I will put the name down so these are uh, liquid lipsticks with a matte formula so it comes like that it is tiny it's only three grams of product and it is like that and I have the color edition and I will do a swatch for you it is a reddish pinky shade it looks very neon here in the video I don't know why it's not neon it is more red than fuchsia and um, it is really pink based though this dries in seconds you will put it on your lips and it will be so matte and you will not feel your lips drying but you cannot touch your lips together so now I'm talking and if I do this thing uh, they feel so dry and so uncomfortable that I have never felt this thing with any other matte lipstick in my life they will look fabulous they will stay long they will not leave a mark on your glass most probably but they are so many nice liquid matte lipsticks up there can I just mention the Sephora ones that I never felt so drying and for this amount of money they have a beautiful color selection this is true I wish that Sephora had a better color selection but I will I have not I'm, I'm wearing this but I will wear this if I go somewhere like for a video or if I go somewhere and I know that I will not have to eat and I will not have to really spend the whole day with it and that I will not forget and touch my lips and feel this disgusting uh, thing I don't really like it and then I have my absolute favorite products and uh, I have a brush that I got with them and they are the Abian Light Powders the first one I got and it was my first hourglass product it is this one it is the one that I have in a full size and it is the mood light one and uh, you can see I'm wearing it today under my blush and uh, in combination with the blush that's how the, this makeup artist showed me how to make this blush more intense and I love it in general I wear it as an all-over powder it's like a finishing powder it makes it it transforms your skin I have this one and I also have the Abian light powder palette the lighting palette and this is the it has three uh, Abian light powders and it has dim light uh, radiant light and which are um, in the not the actual collection and it though even has the incandescent light that you cannot buy full size so today I'm wearing this one as a bronzer and this one as an all over powder and this one as a highlighter and on my cheeks I'm wearing this one and it transforms the face it makes your face glowy and it is like the uh, good long meteorites and these are these beautifying powders that they are so multi usable and they can really have an effect on how your face looks I, uh, I adore them and with them I got this um, uh, brush I don't remember the number I will have everything down which is um, the brush that comes for their application it is, um, it is synthetic it is so so soft I love it. I think it's as white as it should. It's very, very expensive. I don't like the fact that this is like plastic and it's so light and you would expect, you know, a heavy, duty, really high-end expensive brush. But it's so easy to use and to just brush the powder all over your face or where you need it and make these games with the light and how it hits your face I absolutely love it and uh, I really think that everyone that wants to spend this amount of money on makeup really needs to try one or more of these Ebon Lighting powders 
uh, and then I have a blush because after this huge success of the powders they came with the Ibin lighting glasses and uh, I I have dropped and uh, broken mine and this is the ethereal glow it comes like that the glasses have uh, 4.5 grams of product and I just want to cry I put it together with this alcohol method but it really doesn't look as beautiful as it should I will just make you a swatch then because I don't want to show that to other people so it's a very light pinkish blast that you can also use as a highlight and I wear it with the mood light so that it would look really uh, not very intense but it will be a bit more intense than when I'm using it alone and I have mood light everywhere and this just on the apples of my cheek and upper I like really ethereal glow I want to get now this new palette they have with the three blushes or some other ones but what I would recommend for the blushes is that if you're not it is a combination of the blush and the uh, powder so this should be the ethereal light powder that I don't have uh, together with this blush and it's a very light pinkish beautiful blush if you're not very 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 fair my, most of these blushes will not show up on you so if we are talking about medium to darker skin tones very very few blushes I think there is a magenta one and I think there is like a more corally one but the pink one will not show on you so you have to take that into consideration when you're choosing a blush from Hourglass or when you're thinking of buying one and because most of them have a big amount of the powder and it's not mostly blush then they give this amazing finish and they look so beautiful but they will look very similar so I wouldn't recommend you to go and get every single blush that our glass has released even if you try one and love it because I have swatched them and I am aware of that so I think they are really good if if you want to try one or two uh, our glass products I would recommend you the primer the powder and the brow uh, product and brow pencil for me these are the best and I have tried a lot of their other products that I have not purchased and I have not shown you yet like the mascara that's a decent really nice mascara uh, but they are better out there or their creamy lipsticks they're very beautiful they look so nice but they were very creamy for me and not so much long staying and um, I think in general that they have really really great products I love our glass as a company and I hope this um, brand review was helpful if you were thinking of getting something from them and um, as for the shades of uh, Abin light powders and things like that it doesn't make sense to swatch them because they all look really natural on the skin so I will put down below a link of one of my favorite youtubers that has done a video on these uh, hourglass palettes and um, powders and has swatches and talks for the correct shades of each and I hope this would be helpful and um, that's it for this video if you liked it please uh, uh, press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be notified for more videos and we will talk uh, soon next week with another beauty video bye bye